Dana White's Contender Series has become the foremost identifier of up-and-coming talent. It's the ultimate job interview, a perfect backdrop for fighters looking to impress UFC President Dana White. As indicated by the signing of phenoms like Bo Nickel. Huge uppercut, Bo Nickel with a knockout! Title challengers like Myra Bueno Silva. She's unbeaten in her last four, and she is the betting favorite to win a world title. And former champions like Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill, king of the 205ers. But UFC bantamweight king Sean O'Malley blazed the trail. He's good enough and marketable enough to be a household name. With dazzling striking displays. Oh, what a look! O'Malley trying to tee off. Oh. Big right by O'Malley. Devastating knockout power. Oh, that's hey, it! That is it! Oh. Sean O'Malley with a oh. huge right hand. Welcome to the Sugar Show. This is my show. And are now globally recognized adding. But in O'Malley's career of highlights and achievements. Oh, that'll do it! Sean O'Malley on top of the world! There remains one blemish. Something's wrong with O'Malley's leg. Yep, his right leg. You gotta just hope maybe for Sean that it's a nerve issue that could recover. Oh! oh Marlon oh, Chito! Oh, the Sugar Show in round one! Welcome to the Chito Show! Come on. Right the show, baby. Okay. We're all humans, right? There's no likes, there's no comments when you're in the fight. In the summer of 2020, O'Malley's ascent was interrupted by Marlon Chito Vera. Don't be now. Say it again, say it once. Whose extensive and violent decade long tenure with the UFC. Oh, that's it. Cheeto's oh, exit. oh my god! Now includes a win over the Bantamweight King. Oh. Say something now. The guy you have a lot of hype, but you don't have the dog I have inside. Yeah, that got lucky. I didn't lose that fight skill for skill. It was a freak accident, and I could go prove that. On March 9th in Miami, Florida, O'Malley aims to avenge his only career defeat in the first defense of his title. Yeah, I'd say with the right hand. When he faces Vera in the headline of UFC 299. It only takes one mistake against me. I know what I possess in this right hand, baby! Oh, that will do it! I came to the sport to be a world champion. And I'm gonna be a world champion. Vamos con todo Ecuador! Al top! Al top! In the co-main event, former interim lightweight champion Dustin Poirier. He is an absolute savage inside the octagon. Oh, Dustin Poirier! Battles a fast rising standout from Paris, France. The man is a straight up killer. There it is again! And again! Benoit Saint Denis. Oh, oh, there is a new lightweight contender, Benoit Saint Denis! Plus, welterweight striking sensation Michael Venom Page makes his UFC debut. Oh, that is unbelievable! Against oh, fan favorite Kevin Holland. There's no batter, mother than me. Oh! Big elbows. That's That'll it. do That's it. it. Holland blazing his trail at welterweight. Oh! The left hand from hell. Kevin Holland. My mother freaking But before the stars touch down in sunny South Florida. <laughs> I <it's> romantic. <laughs> I believe it's here. See? Practicing. Practicing already. Yeah. First, get ready. If you want to be great, you have to take on greatness. For UFC 299, countdown. One of the biggest stars in mixed martial arts today can be found on the outskirts of Phoenix, Arizona. Elena! Do you want to come and swing in your car? Or Montana transplant Sean O'Malley. You better not run into me when I walk by, okay? You better, hey, hey, come, oh, hey. Relishes in the realization of a childhood dream. I remember 
I had a whiteboard, I had $10,000 on there. That was my goal. I wanted, I wanted to save up $10,000 cash. I don't know why I wanted to, I didn't really want it for anything specific. I just wanted to save up $10,000. O'Malley now trying to tee off. And then I followed the Contender Series. Big right and give me a kid a catch Then my next goal was 100000 He said, I'm gonna be on pay-per-views and I'm gonna become a star. I fight on my first UFC fight. Oh, oh, big head kick. He seems at home in this type of situation. And that's what you want to see from a young fighter. It makes me realize how bad he wants to hit me, which makes him slow, which he's not going to be able to hit me. My next fight, I got the $50,000 bonus. Spinning attack from O'Malley. Oh! I had six figures, and I was like, holy <laughs> Kind of went on a roll from there and started showing what I was capable of. Sean O'Malley is an absolute star in the making. And it seems like it's only a matter of time until you see him standing across from the best of the best. The Sugar Shadow, live and in color. This kid's going to the top. He is going to be a world champion. Whether he comes forward and pushes the action, he'll get knocked out. Or if he lets me push him backwards, he'll get knocked out. This confidence is not for nothing because the mindset is championship level. I think I have the potential to become the biggest star in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sugar Show is upon us. I mean, this Sugar. kid is something. He really is something. As O'Malley rocketed up the ranks, bantamweights took notice. But for Marlon Chito Vera, the immense shine that is often cast on rising stars. It also acts as a distraction. These days on social media and hype and all that, I don't really care. Because at the end of the day, it's all about you. If you focus on the audience, you're up the process. And so I don't focus on that. Born to a large family in the coastal region of Ecuador, Vera found himself fighting early and often in the streets. Now you're going to start on top drilling. Remember, don't need to go fast, OK? So when the restless 18-year-old identified an outlet to do so professionally. Nice, nice. Stay tight now. Lock it. Vera would quickly pave his own path. Nice. One more minute. For in Panama, for in Peru, for in Mexico. <laughs> And I was fighting like tough guys. I, I was fighting fights that I shouldn't be in. Nice. Go, 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 go. I start getting on top. But I was just so desperate to make it. I was like, I'm gonna do anything. Hey, you wanna fight this guy for 200 bucks? I say, yeah. Overnight, you realize like, this is my dream. I wanna become a UFC fighter. A fighting pioneer in his native Ecuador. Time. That was good. Here is Marlon Chito Vera. Here we go, guys. Fight. Now attacking with the arm bar. He's got it. Chito Vera started working towards this UFC goal. Oh, oh, huge head kick. So his only work in his life has been as a fighter. Oh, he got it. Her tap. On the big stage. Oh, nice combination. Vera would become one of the world's best at 135 pounds. Beautiful body shot. Triples Buren. Stop, stop. Beautiful uppercut. Oh, oh beautiful knee and boasted eight violent finishes in the UFC. Oh, he dropped the bat with a right hand. Heavy fist coming in, that is it. He's under the neck. There's That's a it. Whoa! Chino Vera! There are big shots! By the time he was booked to face Sean O'Malley, August of 2020. This is a shining star at 135. Sean O'Malley said a lot about you. Took it under your skin. Oh, my skin is thicker than his mom, so I'm good with that. Just yeah. go in there and let it go. Is there anything that you give credit to him at all? He's good at getting punched in the head. I just see myself going in there and the guy up. Like, I'm feeling good, I'm confident, I'm ready. Face down, ass up, baby. Sugar Sean O'Malley takes yeah. on Marlon Chito Vera. What am I going to say to tomorrow? I think Chito Vera is a real threat in this division to anybody. He also recognizes the hype behind O'Malley, and he could steal all that thunder tonight. But the thing about Sean O'Malley is his mind, his unflappable belief in himself. Ooh, heavy low kick. 
everything went good. He felt slow. Oh. Sugar's already found that low kick. Was piecing him up. Marlin trying to find his range here. Strong low kick there by Vera. Something's wrong with O'Malley's leg. Yeah, his right leg. I don't know what happened. He threw a kick, I pulled out. My nerve shut off. Every time I'd walk forward, I'd just roll my ankle. See, that leg's squirrely, buddy. That back leg bothered him. Let's get on that thing, huh? And now Cheeto recognizes it, and he's moving towards him. Nice, beautiful. If I kick him on the leg, and his shit goes limp, him. He's moving very limited. Oh, yeah, you see the limp there. He's trying to hide it. What happened? You're fighting. I guess you gotta just hope maybe for Sean that it's a nerve issue that could recover. Oh, he fell down. Statistically, it's a rare shot. I, I can't imagine him thinking like, yeah, that, that fight played out fairly. Let's go, stay with it. Oh! Nice elbow. Huge elbow from oh, Cheeto and another one. Shot. That, that is, is it. it. Marlon Cheeto Vera stops the sugar show in round one. He was sleeping when I was elbowing him in the face, so I won the fight. Congratulations. Welcome to the Cheeto show. The Cheeto show, he says. Interesting stoppage. It was quick because would he have done that if it wasn't obvious there was something wrong with his leg? Nonetheless, Marlon Chito Vera is a bona fide bantamweight contender. Strong low kick there by Vera. Something's wrong with O'Malley's leg. Something's wrong. For sure. Now Cheeto recognizes it and he's moving towards him. Up, oh, he fell down. Oh! Huge elbow from Cheeto and another one. That is it. Marlon Cheeto Vera stops the Sugar Show in round one. Oh my goodness. Incredible. Marlon Cheeto Vera's victory over Sean O'Malley in August of 2020. Stop the hype train in its track and established a new threat at 135 pounds. For Vera, success in mixed martial arts was not achieved alone. It was realized through unwavering support from his wife, Maria. We met in school, fourth grade. This is not a joke. I told my friends at that time, it's like, I'm gonna marry him. I was 10 years old. We started dating in high school and we've been together our whole lives. <laughs> She's been 100% support and 100% backing me up on everything I do. I'm not doing this for the fame, you do it for the family. Ready? Yes, I want to be a world champion. I want to have success and be notorious in the world and people know me. All that's cool, but all that will be gone one day. The impact I do in my way to that is what will last forever. And here is the prolific finisher, Ecuador's Marlon Chito Vera. Marlon is obsessed with becoming the champion. He's an animal. I mean, the dude fights so hard. He's constantly training, constantly learning, constantly growing. Chito oh! Vera gets the highlight he was looking for. Woo! Inside the cage is my family or yours. And my family is more important to me. Following the high profile bout with a mouth. There's a nice laugh. Vera would continue his winning ways. Oh, no. Dispatching top bantamweights. He's the complete threat everywhere he goes. And living legend. Dominic Cruz, the greatest bantamweight of all time. Is that the oh, one? that's it! Cruz is down after a huge shot. He wanted to make a championship statement. What a way to stamp it. I came to the sport to be a world champion. I have the heart. I have the more ethic. And now I have the people that will get me there. But mixed results prolonged a bantamweight title shot. The shot also being chased by Cheeto's former foe. For O'Malley, rebuilding from his first career loss did not take long. Because in the mind of Sugar Sean, Vera had not rightfully earned the victory at all. 
I still feel very confident looking back on that fight. Sugar's already found that low kick. Those are heavy shots. I never really lost sleep over it because I didn't lose Something's wrong with O'Malley's yep, leg. Right I leg. don't know what happened. And now Cheeto recognizes it and he's moving towards him. Huge elbow from Cheeto and another one. That is it. I smoked this dude nine out of ten times. Mentally, I'm undefeated. I didn't lose because my skills aren't better than this dude. I didn't feel like that was a skill for skill. Yeah. He beat me because he's better. You know, I think that first fight that plays out without that, I think I whoop him. I didn't feel like I lost. Mentally undefeated. People lose their mind when I say that. Even high level athletes are like, what are you doing? We're all up here guessing as to what the mentality is in that statement. What are you talking about? Well, just people thought it was funny that you always said that, that wasn't a loss. It's not. And then, and, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll die at that. He will not admit that he lost the fight. He said, in the commission of Sugar Sean, it was a freak accident. I talked to him. We had a trial. We had a whole thing. And they said it was a fluke. 12 wins, one loss. I understand the mentality of a winner like Sean O'Malley. And a follow-up left hand. Because of the insanity of his mindset. And it is focused and determined like a laser beam. Oh. Another highlight for the real Sean O'Malley. He really does believe he didn't lose. I wouldn't sell merch and make a ton of money if it wasn't true. Do. The way that he manages range and distance, it's second to none in this division. Look, like he's pretending he's playing basketball. Sean O'Malley is an absolute star in the making. Oh! One of the biggest tests of his career, and he just got an A+. Plus. Oh, Sean! We were at the rocket ship. I haven't lost yet. Since that happened, been staying consistent, have some very big wins. Fighting a former champion who is still in his absolute prime. And never lost since. O'Malley bounced back from the fight against Vera in style. Oh, and now a left hand! Jan has been opened up! with marquee wins that earned him a shot at bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling. A dominant grappler. Hell bent on stopping the O'Malley hype train in its tracks. What's happening, Boston? It's nice to be home! Even though you're not the champion, do you feel like you're the A-side of this pay-per-view? Yeah, I feel like Aljo's fighting for the sugar belt. I still gotta go in there and knock his ass out and just keep getting better and better and bigger and bigger. He's going to get I've always been motivated. I want to be world champ. I want to be the best in the world. You don't have the music you think that you have. I can't wait to go out there and fold to the two minutes. I knew if I show up in the gym and get better every day, that I could be as good as I am now. Well, if you are what you say you are, a superstar, not a bad time to take it to the next level and cap it with a world title tonight. This man, in six years, has risen to the point where he thinks he deserves to be. Contending for the title, the most important moment in his combat sports career, and up until now, he has been sensational. 15 wins, one loss, one no contest. Sean Al Jermaine on the pressure right away, trying to make Sean throw something so he could level change. He's waiting to die. He's going to die. O'Malley's doing a really good job keeping his back to the center of the octagon. He has that wicked front kick to the body that he will utilize as well. And he looks very composed here in his first championship title fight. Beautiful. Discipline. Discipline. There's a shot. This was Al Jermaine trying to get close and do this. Just a very close round and hard to score. Here we go, round two. Leg attack for Aljamain Sterling here. O'Malley doing a good job of attacking his wrist. Wow, he got out of it. Nicely done. Oh! Sterling in a world of trouble! Sean O'Malley go to the next level. He lands a beautiful right hand against Aljamain Sterling, the best man weight of all time, and he finishes. It feels right, baby. It feels right. This is just.
just the beginning of the sugar era. I'm running this <laughs> till 2035, baby. Boy, is he gonna be huge now. And imagine him versus Cheeto. Oh my goodness. O'Malley trying to close it out here. That'll do it. The Sugar Show on top of the world. The same night that UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley won the title. Cheeto Vera is an animal. And this is a huge fight for him tonight. A former foe would also earn a marquee win. All right, so Marlon Cheeto Vera gets it done. It seems like you did your part, and Sean said it himself, like he wants you first. So is that what you want next for your career? I mean, if he wins, we, we go. I beat his ass again. You pretty much called your shot next, right? You want a rematch with Cheeto Vera later this year? Me versus Cheeto rematch would be massive. So the promotion would promptly book Marlon Cheeto Vera as the first challenger to O'Malley's throne. And once the rematch was set for March 9th in Miami, Florida, Sugar Sean wasted no time commencing the marketing efforts. I went out to do a media tour in New York, do a bunch of interviews. Sean O'Malley, bantamweight champ, yeah. is in the house. Cool studio, cool yeah. setup. Feel Thanks. good, New York's been fun. They just announced the fight yesterday, Cheeto, March. Whoa. So it's kind of like a little bit of victory slash promotion. It's going to be good. What do you think when you look back upon that first fight with Cheeto? I was whooping his ass. He got lucky. And I do believe, truly, he will never admit it, but he knows how lucky he got. I've never been this excited for a fight. Went on a couple live TV shows. Joining us me right now is UFC bantamweight champ, Sugar Sean O'Malley in the house. It was on Shoal's podcast, Flagrant. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what's good, you boy? Oh, this is fire, bro. Oh. This is fire. Had a good time on that one. Welcome to Flagrant, and today oh. we have Sugar Sean O'Malley in the building. Oh, Okay, <laughs> cheers, Something. cheers, cheers. <laughs> Why'd you have to knock out our boy, Al Jermaine, bro? That was rude, bro. That was, that was rude. Yeah, honestly, I with Al Jermaine. I do, too. I felt bad. There are plenty of people who are really good at their sport. They don't really understand the marketing aspect. Cheeto, I don't like him. I'm excited to see him. I can tell you guys do him. not like I mean, each other. We got him face to face tomorrow. No. Yeah, we're going face to face tomorrow. Sean, he gets the game and he's elite at fighting. And we just can't keep our eyes off of him. For me, it just gets me fired up. This is the most personal fight. I definitely want to hurt Cheeto. That motherfucker got super lucky. He knows it. Made it on time. I'm a professional. Awesome. Thank you, boys. That's good. I'm gonna knock this dude out. In the UFC, words and promotion always turn to action in the octagon. And to prepare for the latter, Vera continues work with the man who has guided the lion's share of his career, veteran coach, Jason Perillo. Punching up on those shots. Nice movement. It's better with that right hand when you're snapping it. Try not to push it. Nice snap, Cheeto. Parul is really the best. I mean, it's just not about the way he teach fighting, but the way he helps you mentally achieve things. The amount of world champions he have. Yeah, I'd say with the right hand. And his experience, you can't buy that. He was really the puzzle missing in my life to really get to this point, to really achieve a world title. Oh, gosh. Cheeto's determination that really separates him from everybody else. I mean, he reminds me of a champion I worked with many years ago, Michael Bisbig. Oh, oh he, he hurt. Got 
He Fitzgerald. heard it back. Cut. He heard it back. Again. Michael Fitzgerald. That's it. Hit the new That's it. UFC middleweight champion of the world. Look at Jason Carrillo. Long time train. Look at that reaction. There's a guy with a tremendous amount of tenacity in really the belief in himself. Don't worry about the men, he'll be there. Hush, wait, bring your feet. Hush, nice. In this fight, there is a little bit of experience on Cheeto's side. Hush, nice. Hush, nice. Cheeto's been in a lot tougher fights, so if this does draw into a tough fight, I think our experience will come into play. I got my stomach twisted. There you go. I'm not around. Legs and shoulder. Push. This is everything in my soul and heart right now. Pump that right shoulder. Push. There it is. Push. That's why I'm gonna win this fight. Let's smother the speed, baby. Smother the speed. Push. 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 While circumstances surrounding the first contest between Marlon Chido Vera and Sugar Sean O'Malley. Something's wrong with O'Malley's leg. May have put the result into question. Chido and another one! That is it! Marlon Chito Vera! Their rematch on March 9th presents the opportunity to remove all doubt. Four second inhale, four second hold, four second exhale. An opportunity at the champion isn't taking lightly. Drown yourself with the breath, drown yourself in the body. Stay with that pace. Cheeto's very good, he's beat some really, really good guys. Not taking anything away from him, I just believe I'm better in every aspect. Footwork, baby, footwork. Keep those feet moving. Boom, right there, good, break it down, nice. Atta boy, yep. But it's a 25 minute fight. I can't come out there in the first round trying to put him out, and then there he is, second, third, fourth, fifth round, just still on me, and I'm gassed out. Nice and smooth, let's just control it, let's get warm. All day, big dog, let's go, perfect. I know how I need to show up for this fight, and where I need to be at mentally. Does he? We'll see. At UFC 299 in Miami, Florida, rivals meet once again. He has been sensational. He is a sniper with legit knockout power. This kid has it. The most decorated finisher in UFC Bantamweight history, Marlon Chito Vera. Only this time, the victor will leave Bantamweight champion of the world. Chino comes to hurt you. I'm gonna break Sean. Chino Vera is an animal. I'm gonna kick his ass. Oh! The power of Chito Vera. And it won't be the first time you're gonna be taken on this stretcher. Oh my god. The Sugar Show on top of the world! March 9th, putting this dude's lights out. On to the next.